Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Hero Fitness and Performance Season 1, Episode 17. I'm here in one of the beautiful parks in Colorado. Got some amazing fall colors uh, going on behind me. Lots of people going by on this bike path. And we're gonna have a fun workout today. So today's workout is entirely body weight, okay? It's gonna be you against gravity. Uh, should be a lot of fun, challenging moves. And the best part is it's an entire body weight workout with zero burpees, okay? So that's always a good, good way to start off the workout, okay? Hopefully you're already sweaty, a little warmed up. Let's go through a couple movement prep, uh, kind of dynamic stretches here, and then we'll get rocking on today's workout, okay? So let's start with our flamingos. Pull the heel into the butt, stretching out the quads. We're gonna alternate sides here, okay? Get everything nice and loose. Because we're gonna use it all today, right? Knee hugs are next, pulling in nice and tight to the chest. Alternating legs here as well. As we finish those up, we're going to go right into the sumo lateral lunges, shifting side to side, drive those hips back and to the side. Keep that back leg straight to open up the adductors. Good. So as we finish those, let's do a reverse lunge. We're going to reach up towards the sky or the ceiling. Alternate legs here as well. All right, so as we finish those, do a couple leg swings, opposite leg, opposite hand, get those hammies loose. Right after those, a couple back slaps here. Get those chest and shoulders nice and loose. Big arm circles forward. And big arm circles backwards. All right, guys, so for today's workout, we're gonna have two three round circuits that we're gonna do. Very short circuits, minimal rest, okay? When we finish those two three round circuits, we're gonna have two. 10 minute time blocks or AMRAPs uh, and things where we'll have exercises that we'll try to get through as many times as we can in those time blocks, okay? So a little bit of a shorter workout, but that means we're gonna move a little bit quicker through today's workout, okay? So our first movement, no matter which ability level we're at, everybody's gonna be doing the same thing, okay? We're gonna do a squat to a lateral kick. So I'm gonna squat down as low as you're able to. When I come up, I'm gonna tilt to the side, bring my leg in and then kick it out, drop down into a squat again, I'm gonna kick to the other side, okay? 60 second time block here, all right? So here we go, 60 seconds in two, one, go. So squat, kick to the side, right? Squat, kick to the side. Don't fall over like me though. Find your balance, squat and kick, alternating sides. Get some good force, all right? And drive, don't forget that deep squat, get as low as we can. Kick to the side. Sixty full seconds here. All right, get everything nice and loose. Warm up those legs as we drop down. Okay, you're gonna feel those adductors stretch as you kick. That's a good thing. All right, I keep my hands in close when my elbows touch my thighs. I know I'm getting low enough, and then I can kick out to the side here again. All right. You can make sound effects. Boom! Kapow! Whatever you want to do, right? Last couple seconds, last couple reps. And rest. Okay, next. Again, everybody's going to be doing the same thing. Butterfly glute bridge. Bottoms of the feet are together. I start laying like this, press through my feet, pulling my knees apart, squeeze the glutes and the abs. Butt hitches, or uh, butt hits the ground, come up and touch the toes. All right? can't get all the way up just go as high as you can on the sit up two one go glute press or glute bridge up into a sit up okay you're controlling the speed and the tempo try to get as much range of motion as you can <laughs> 60 seconds here guys tearing it up squeeze those glutes 
Squeeze the abs, get everything working. Last 20 seconds, keep up that tempo. Pushing hard, right? Last couple seconds, last couple reps, hang in there. And rest, okay. Next move. Around the world plank, okay? You thought we got enough planks in the last workout. We're gonna be in a high plank, you're like this, okay? We're gonna go hold here like this for 60 seconds, but we're gonna alternate, one arm raise, other arm raise, leg raise, leg raise. We're gonna try to repeat that through 60 seconds, okay? If you're not able to do the raises, just hold the plank. If you want to make it a little bit harder, after arm, arm, leg, leg, opposite arm, leg, opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? 60 seconds there. Here we go. In two, one, go. So, arm, arm, leg, leg. Shoulders over wrist, back parallel to the ground as close as we can get it. Keep the hips, hips even with your shoulder. We don't want to be back here. We don't want to be down here. Okay, find a happy medium. When we lift our arm and our leg, we're trying to keep the hips as stable as you can. Abs are tight. Don't let them wobble. Okay, when we lift, we're gonna to want to tilt and offload some of that weight. Don't allow your body to do that. Keep those abs stiff and stable to make sure we're not moving. This is the last exercise in this first round, okay? I told you it's gonna go quick. And rest. All right, one round down, two more to go. No rest, okay? We're gonna go right into it. We're gonna do the squat to lateral kick next. Here we go, in two, one, go. Squat, kick to the side. Squat, kick to the other side, okay? Again, sound effects are optional. Get nice and low on that squat. Drop nice and low, kick into the side. Start round number two nice and strong, okay? Halfway there, you guys are doing great so far. those legs working I know they're burning we've got the butterfly glute bridge coming up next about another 15 seconds here all right turn it up as we get close to the edge and if not edge hopefully you're not doing it on these on the edge of a cliff switch butterfly glute bridges two one go lift into a sit-up squeeze the glutes Squeeze the abs, momentum into the sit-up as that butt goes down. Coming up as high as you can, all right? Solid tempo, pushing hard. Halfway through these, we've got the around the world plank coming up next. Should have a little bit of a sweat going by now. A little burn going. Abs, glutes, legs. All right. Finishing off the second round strong. Then we'll move on to number three. Oh, come on. And switch. Planks, two, one. Go around the world plank. Arm, arm, leg, leg. Okay, we're gonna repeat that. Remember, shoulders over wrists. Don't push back. Stay here. Okay. Back's flat. You can keep it like a table. Don't let those hips wiggle. All right. Oops. I'm ahead of myself there. 
Stable, stable, stable. Widen the feet if you have to. Give yourself a little bit more of a base of support. When we lift, try to lift and bring down nice and slow and controlled. Especially those feet, no plopping, right? And rest. All right, final round, guys. Squat to kick in two, one, go. So 60 second squat, kick to the side. Squat, kick to the other side, all right? Good depth, good control. It's our last time through this circuit. We got this, it's easy, right? No big deal, just warming everything up. We're gonna need those legs nice and warm for the next circuit, okay? Past halfway, keep it up. Showing off these nice and white legs. It's winter kind of, fall here, okay? There's not a lot of sun to go around. <laughs> Don't judge me. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. And butterfly glute bridge. Last set of these in two, one, go. Glute bridge, sit up. Glute bridge, sit up. Keep it going, all right? High tempo here. Everything's body weight today, so we're gonna try to move just a little bit quicker through the workout today. Past halfway, keep that tempo, nice work. Last 20 seconds or so, hang in there guys. We got the around, the world plank coming up last. And then we'll move on right into the next circuit. And switch around the world plank. Two, one, go. Last set of these, okay? Shoulders over wrists, nice and stable. Widen the feet if you have to. Don't let those hips wiggle. Keep them nice and stable. arm or leg nice and smooth nice and slow bring it down nice and slow as well control is the key abs and core working right We're almost there hang in there rest all right guys one circuit down next circuit is coming up we're gonna have one 90 second interval and two 60 second intervals for this next three round circuit okay you know extra break catch your breath pause the video everybody else I'm gonna start demoing the second circuit right now okay here we go so you guys will remember these these are everybody's pretty much their least favorite one of their least favorite body weight exercises okay it's a reverse lunge knee tap so, leg is forward. If you're a beginner, on the beginner level, all you're gonna do is a reverse lunge and alternate here for 90 seconds, okay? Intermediate and advanced. We're gonna try and keep the weight on the forward leg, reach back, touch our knee, come back out without the back foot touching, and then go to the other side, okay? Advanced, you're going to the ground. Intermediate, grab a book, grab a box, a pillow, whatever you need, find something as a reference point that brings the ground up just a little bit, okay? This is our first 90 seconds in the circuit, and we're starting in two, one, go. 
Find your balance, weight on that forward heel as much as you can. Okay, don't let the heel pop off the ground. We're trying to sit back, use those glutes. All right, and again, it's not a race. It's a full 90 seconds, so control, working on balance, stability. I said balance without falling down. Did you guys catch that one? First time ever in history, okay? <laughs> Nice and smooth, touch that knee, back up again, load the forward leg as much weight as you can on the heel so that those glutes are as active as they can be, okay? We don't want any pressure on the knee at all, so we sit back, drive our hips back, all right, and keep that heel on the ground. I throw my arms out in front for a counterbalance, all right, kind of helps me sink a little bit lower there. Past a minute, less than 30 seconds left. Keep it up. And rest. All right, so next we have what's called a blast off push up. Beginner level, you're on the knees. If you're like this, we rock back. Come forward, chest goes to the ground. We do a push up like this. Everybody else, intermediate and advanced on the toes. Drive the hips back, we keep the butt down. Come forward, and do a push up here like this. All right, this is for 60 seconds. This is the longest interval we've ever done on this movement. So pace yourself accordingly, okay? Here we go. Two, one, go. 60 seconds, guys, 60 seconds. Rock back, chest goes forward into a push-up, okay? Keep the hips and butt down. Do not let them lift up, okay? There's another 60 second moving plank, right? guys keep it up You're past halfway we got about 20 seconds left here and rest okay last we have an alternating jackknife to double jackknife Inner level, hands are behind us, okay? One leg goes out, other leg goes out, both legs go out, okay? Intermediate and advance, or intermediate, excuse me, one leg goes out, other leg goes out, both legs go out, staying upright. Advance, we go from the ground, alternating to doubles, okay? 60 seconds in two, one, go. This is our last station in this circuit. So we get a short, minimal break, just enough time to stand up. And then we'll go into the second cycle of this circuit, okay? I got talking and I forgot to do my doubles. We get caught up. So it's one single, single the other side, okay? And then a double. I messed it up there. As usual, Tyler's talking too much and not thinking, right? <laughs> Abs should be feeling it pretty good by now. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. And rest, okay. Standing up, knee tap reverse lunges or whichever variation you're able to do. Coming up next, okay, two, one, go. 90 seconds, guys, 90 seconds. Let me find my balance first, okay? Touch that knee, rock back on those heels as much as you can. Get those glutes engaged. Arms go out in front of us, that's a counterbalance, right? 90 seconds. Find that balance, test that stability.
good, everybody. Keep it up. That heel on the ground and push through that heel. There's a minute, 30 more seconds here. We're doing great, guys. Balance. After these, we have the blast off push ups, all right? And switch, blast off push-ups, two, one, go. 60 seconds here, okay? Keep it up, guys. Round number two. Strong and steady. Last halfway, keep it up. Jack knives are coming up next. Switch, jack knives, single, single, double, two, one, go. See if I can remember this time. Single, single, double. Nobody's here to call me out and yell at me when I do it wrong. Thirty seconds down, guys. Halfway there. Abs are feeling it. And rest. All right, guys. One more set, and we're done with the first two circuits. We've got two more time blocks to go after this, okay? So alternating, reverse lunge, knee taps, two, one, go. 90 seconds, find your balance, okay? Weight on that heel, nice and stable. Reach those arms forward for a counterbalance. Whole foot on the ground, push through the heel, okay? Last 90 seconds of these, you guys are doing great. Keep it up. It's so hard, right? There's a minute. Last 30, we're going to the blast off push ups. And rest, blast off push-ups. Two, one, go. Last set of these. Enjoy them, right? Great move. One of my least favorites. I hate doing it, but it's so good for me.
and I probably wouldn't be doing it if it weren't for these videos, so thank you guys. I hate pretty much anything upper body, right? These alligator arms, it's just no fun. Halfway there. Jack knives are up next. Hang in there, guys. 15 seconds. And switch. Jack knives in two, one, go. Single, single, double. And repeat, okay? Last set, guys. Then we'll get to the fun stuff. Ugh. Abs are on fire. <laughs> Way to push through, guys. Nice work. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. Hang in there. Throwing leaves. Please. And rest. I don't know what that was. All right, guys. A little breather here. I'm going to start going over what we're doing next, okay? So we have a 10 minute time block that we're going to do. You're going to need your jump rope, okay? I forgot to mention that we need jump rope at the beginning of the video. Apologize for that. I'll put it in the notes on the equipment section so you know to bring one. If you don't have one, no worries. We can do jumping jacks instead, okay? So, we have 100 spins on the jump rope or 100 jumping jacks. Either one of those is fine. If you're really good at jump rope and you want to do double unders, you got 50 double unders, okay? That's two passes of the rope underneath your feet. After that, we've got about a 15 to 20 foot space Okay, like this, I'm gonna do a lateral shuffle this way, and then back is one lap, okay? You're gonna do three laps, lateral shuffle. When you're done with the lateral shuffle, you have a bear crawl for three laps. Same distance, okay? Here, like this, again, 15, 20 feet, backwards for 15 to 20 feet, okay? So like I said, it's a 10 minute time block, 100 spins on the jump rope, or 50 dumbbell unders, or jumping jacks for 100. When you're done with that, lateral shuffle, stay nice and low, three full laps, 20 and back is one, okay? Bear crawl three full laps, all right? We haven't done bear crawls in a while. I figured it was about time to start breaking it out again, right? So this is a 10 minute circuit, it's a lot of cardio, so pace yourself accordingly, okay? The shuffles are hard, the bear crawls are hard. For some of us, jump rope is hard. But jump rope can be a time where we set a rhythm and kind of get our breath back, okay? So, that said, hopefully I don't embarrass myself too much with the jump rope. If I do, I'm gonna go right to jumping jacks, okay? We've got 100 jump, okay? Three laps, lateral shuffle, three laps, bear crawl, okay? First 10 minute circuit, we're starting in two, one, go. 100. Nice and efficient, nice and smooth. Remember, this is the station that's gonna set us up for our next two exercises. So use it as a time to get a little rhythm. All right, the heart rate will be up, but it's a good chance to get a control of your breathing. Finish 100, right into the lateral shuffle for three laps. I get to have fun going through these nice leads, right? Crunchy, crunchy. There and back is one. We're going to three. And then same thing for the bear crawl when we get there. Three full laps.
it up, guys. Nice job. Way to start strong. Once you finish the bear crawl, look like you. We go back to the jump rope, all right? Again, use this spot to catch our breath a little bit. Or at least find our breath again. Nice and smooth, guys. Efficient. No wasted motion, right? Nice deep breath, okay? Deep in, deep out. Making great progress so far, guys. Hang in there, all right? Keep yourself moving. You're setting the pace and the tempo, right? We're trying to build as we go. working guys nice job uh, so what's everybody's least favorite move in this circuit right let's say it in unison bear crawls <laughs> least favorite right we're doing great you got a great time so far keep kicking butt guys hang in there breath during that jump rope. Find a little rhythm. Breathe in deep. Breathe out deep. Good spot to get back into control. Oops. Awesome work everybody. Keep it up. We're doing fantastic. 100 jump rope or jumping jacks. All right. Relapse lateral shuffle, relapse bear crawl. We're right about the halfway point now. It's only gonna get twice as bad as this. My favorite quote that I'm sure everybody's rolling their eyes or cursing me out when they hear me say it, right? But rolling your eyes, cursing me out, that takes energy. Don't expend it. Any wasted energy, put it into a workout, right? If you do that, I'm winning. Don't let me win. working guys less than four minutes left we're looking great you're six minute minute mark we're doing fast fantastic hang in there okay keep working keep working
right, we're working now, right? Final three minutes. Hang in there. My 15 to 20 feet looks short. It's actually an optical illusion because I'm so tall is what it is. I'm just a giant, enormous person. <laughs> just kidding. I, I'm 5'9 on a good day. <laughs> on a really good day. But my arms and legs are more, you know, probably for somebody that's a 4 foot 10, like a 12 year old child like that my torso probably more for like shack somebody that's seven feet an awkward build Getting close to the end guys, one minute left. I forgot to mention this, but if you lose track on the jump rope, you gotta start all the way back over, right? Can't remember where you're at. You gotta pause the video, rewind, start back at the beginning of the 10 minute circuit, do it all over again, right? That's the rule. I'm trusting you to hold yourself accountable. You're probably glad I only remembered when there's about 30 seconds left in the workout, right? Almost there guys, hang in there. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. Finish strong. And rest, 10 minutes down, okay? Woo, we got a little break here. We've got one more 10 minute circuit to go, okay? This one's gonna be a tough one, so pace yourself accordingly, okay? We're gonna fit a lot of rounds in here, okay? 10 minutes, again, you know I should break, pause the video, okay? Uh, it's gonna go, reps, there's four movements, seven, 13, seven, 13, okay? Our first movement, split jumps here, alternating in midair, seven each side or alternating reverse lunges seven aside if we do not want to jump sorry about the spit there like i said you guys are lucky you're at home you don't have the splash zone to worry about right um after that mountain climbers hands are on the ground here one leg's in the air i'm going to switch so i only ever have one foot on the ground okay 13 each side okay for those of you weird people that count total reps, it's 14 and 26, okay? 14, 26, 14, 26, all right? After that, we have a curtsy lunge jump for seven a side. So here, drop down, up it over to the other side, leprechauns, whatever you wanna call them, all right? If you don't wanna jump, it's a step curtsy lunge, seven a side, 14 total. The last movement is called a plank jack. We're gonna be back down on the hands, in a push-up position, legs go out, legs come in, legs go in, legs go out. Okay, that's one. Out, in, up, back. 
13, okay? So seven split jumps aside, 14 total or reverse lunges. You have 13 mountain climbers aside, 26 total. Seven curtsy lunge jumps or alternating curtsy lunges without a jump, 14 total, seven aside, and then 13 plank jacks. Okay, that's just 13 total reps. Um, 10 minutes, okay? Small amount of reps. So we're gonna get a high volume on this turnover. This is the last thing we're doing for today. Okay, so again, just like we do with that other 10 minute circuit, start slow, try to build. Naturally, your heart rate's gonna continue to go up as we go because working out is cumulative, right? All the work is cumulative. It's gonna add upon itself, compound, if you will, um, and things. So start steady and try to push as you go as it gets more and more difficult, right? That makes sense, Tyler. When it gets harder, I should push harder. Exactly. We're trying to train your mind and your body. When you get tired, it's the time that you're going to work your hardest, okay? Here we go. 10 minutes, starting with the split jumps. 14 total, 10, seven aside, excuse me, in two, one, go. Control that movement, absorb the shock. As soon as you're done with those, mountain climbers, 13 aside, 26 total. Only one foot is ever on the ground. Max flat, after tight. After that, curtsy lunges or curtsy lunge jumps, okay? Seven aside, 14 total on these. already burning we're in trouble guys we're in trouble plank jacks are last out whoa slipped on that grass a little bit that didn't feel so good out in up back 13 Up, guys, we're doing great. Like I said, 10 full minutes. Pace yourself accordingly. Rest as needed. Water if you need it. Catch your breath if you need it. Trying to build in tempo as we go. There you go, those of you that wanted music, I deliver, right? You ask, I make it happen. <laughs> totally kidding. You guys are doing great. Split jumps, seven aside. Mountain climbers, 13 aside. Curtsy launcher jumps, seven aside, 13 plank jacks. You guys are doing great. Legs are burning. We're doing great, guys. Keep it up. I've made this joke before, but if you need a laugh, just remember, imagine me dressed as a leprechaun, okay? It's getting close to Halloween, right? By the time you get this, it might be after Halloween. Dressed as a leprechaun, rainbow, sprouting at the top of my head. A lot of gold behind me. There you go. Give me a little smile, a little laugh. You're gonna do great. Keep it up. We're doing fantastic. Nice job so far. Legs, 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 legs. Keep it up, guys. We're doing great. Right about the four minute mark. Six minutes left to go. 
fantastic finish strong right good to be young what's that good to be young absolutely i'm 71. you can hop in if you want oh god that broke my foot three months ago oh yeah i'm just getting back in front of back where you're moving that's the start yes. right when you're old it's tough to tough to heal it's all about the blood flow hey, man moving. just keep it up i'm trying i've been running since i was in grade school yeah <laughs> Working hard, right? Yeah. Woo! There you go, guys. A little motivation. Broke his foot. Out running. Enjoying this beautiful weather. Great scenery. Never knew who you're gonna meet. Give it a little pick me up. A little motivation. It's awesome. We love it, right? And it gave me a little break, you know. A little distraction never hurts. <laughs> Past halfway, guys, we're doing fantastic. Like I always like to say, it's only gonna get twice as bad as this. However you're feeling right now, multiply it by two. If you're breathing, you'll be fine, right? Like I always like to say, you've got 40%, I can't say it though, I like to say it, but I can't say it. You've got 40% more left in the tank when you think you're done. So. Remember that, right? When you think you're exhausted, back of your head, think, I got 40% more left, right? Push beyond what you think you're capable of. Don't put limits on yourself, all right? Your potential is dictated by your mind. Don't let it put a box around you. Push beyond those limits. Great guys, fantastic job, nice work, kick it butt. Push it 
strong. This is strong. Just less than 30 seconds left. Hang in there. Woo! And rest. Oh man, killer. You know those bodyweight workouts are always brutal. Anytime I used to say that in my classes, hey, today's gonna be entire, entirely bodyweight. Everyone would go, no. Uh, that was awesome, guys. Nice work today. Very, very challenging circuits there at the end. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the bodyweight strength stuff as well. It's not easy. None of it's easy. Good job. Clap yourself. Give yourself a clap. You know what I'm trying to say. Pat on the back. Dust your shoulder off, clap for yourself. Oh man, words are hard, words are really hard. For staying consistent, making time to do this workout, right, making a little time for yourself, that's awesome, I love it. You're gonna be happier, you're gonna be better for it, all right? Thank you guys again for tuning in, staying consistent with these workouts. Fantastic job, get another tough one in the book. Episode 17, okay? Lots of distractions today. Uh, but it was still fun, we had a great time. So, at least I did. You guys are probably all laying on the floor cursing my name, give a voodoo doll and stabbing it, right? <laughs> anyway, have a great rest of the day, have a great rest of the week, have a great rest of the weekend, wherever you're at in your week, um, and I look forward to seeing you in episode 18, all right? Have a great day, guys, see you soon.